I am not dead. Yeah, dead. Definitely not, but we've been a private crypto TA and crypto trading community as of recently, so I haven't been making public content. I had too many of my Discord members and YouTube tier members say the stuff I was putting on YouTube was too valuable. So as I make a game plan on how to not really water down the material too much, and this is something behind me that I'm providing to the you know community. I'm not dead. Like these are, I'm gonna get ready to show you all the stuff that we're, we've been doing over the last just 48 hours. You'll see how much content it is. I haven't gone anywhere. It's just, you're not getting the info because you're not part of the community really is what's happening. So um, <clears throat> I'm gonna walk you through a couple things here real quick so you can know what to expect and then we'll do a quick Bitcoin analysis for this nice Sunday. Tell you what my thoughts are. Nice pullback to the origin line uh, down to uh, a little higher than 20K, but I wanna show you um, why that might not happen and what to look for if it is going to happen. Precise, exact, exact price paths with exact lines. I will show them to you. And one of those will be like, be roughly how price is going to move. So I'll draw a few uh, price paths and it's if then scenarios. If it gets above this, use that support. If it gets below here, use this as resistance and I'll show you what it'll look like and the timing of it. We'll try to guess the timing. So with no further ado, let's go get some damn bit going. <laughs> So check this out over here. This is from just before this small move down. All right. So what Bitcoin is doing right now, it is stuck in a mid, like a short term time frame channel like this. All right. And this goes back how many, maybe five or yeah, about 16 days. So we've done this for a couple weeks now. And it's the same channel. And it's so regular. I didn't even put a point of control or anything. I mean, I could, I could put it right down the middle, but I haven't yet. Cause this is just, it's just, I don't know. It's pretty easy right now and it's going to remain easy. So in general terms, for example, what I let people know today is, so there, here's my update from today. Same thing. Here you go. Take a look. All right, and I let everybody, so you can pause, I'm not gonna read all this to you because this isn't what you're, like you're not supposed to get this content, right? But I'm showing you um, what today's stuff was, all right? And you can pause it, go back, read all that stuff if you want, you can just have the content, I guess. But as this move was chugging along, we didn't know when it was gonna break down, right? We knew we needed a pullback. Like you, we will get a pullback, but we don't know if we're gonna go to 28K or 33K first. We literally might get all of the, like literally over and over, channel up, channel up, channel um, uh, dip and rip. This was a channel dip and rip, but not all the channels will dip and rip. Some of them just channel and then blast up. So we don't know if that's gonna happen because the daily RSI is still very strong. The daily RSI is way too hot for this to like just totally give up. It ain't gonna happen, folks. This is a train. It cannot stop that fast. Yeah, it's going down. Yeah, it's been rejected. So this is daily RSI. Yeah, it's below uh, its EMA. Yeah, it's been rejected by its EMA. Yeah, it's got a negative slope. But also, yeah, it's in the green zone. So when it ticks up, even if it leaves here, if it ticks up and hits this again, that's a higher high end price. So this pullback, it's going to take the daily RSI down here and it's probably going to come back up. Therefore, it, and so as opposed to this just goes down here without coming back up in here like a failure pattern, right? failure rejection to this green zone. So I'm staring at the green zone as if it were resistance, right? And it, it, because it hit this white line and did all this work, it gives it too much momentum for it to just go like this. It's, I won't, I don't, I will not say it's impossible to happen, but it's extraordinarily unlikely as in low single digit chances. But it, I guess it could happen, uh, but it would have to be led. It would have to be a not, well, I guess another big exchange going down like BNB could do it. <laughs> that could make it happen. But I was gonna say something um, global economic. Russia, ridiculous, Russia and Germany getting into it again, obviously. That could spook the markets. That could bring Bitcoin. That could stop the train. That could. So global news, maybe a huge exchange. It'd have to be a big one. KuCoin, uh, BNB or Coinbase would have to have serious troubles. Or something global economic because of these um, 
you know, the job market is not slowing down as much as Jerome Powell and the, the Fed chair in the U US wants. I mean, if he does something drastic, that could also stop the train. But bar those things, it, like, and all those things together are still a low single digit chance of happening during this conclusion of this move, right? Now, is a single digit chance that one of those three things happen in general? No, probably not. Like all together, the chances? No, it's probably double digits. But the timing during this move, will one of those happen during this move? Will you roll a seven on one of your next two rolls, for example? Will it happen? Right? You don't get 20 rolls to get a seven. You get two. Will it happen? That's kind of the stuff we're dealing with, right? It's a really low probability chance within this move, but it could happen. Okay. So that's what's going on with price. I know I'm talking at you not doing a lot of price, but that is the situation. Bitcoin is a bullish train. It can have a pullback all the way down to here and lower. So this is the origin line. It can easily dip below here, okay? Go down to 20,900. That's probably about where it's going. This is the origin line, 20, 20 or 21 even. It's gonna go somewhere here, all right? 28 maybe even 20,500 to take out this wick low here. So look behind me here, see that? A nice dip and get back above. So watch this. So these are the levels. All right, all right let me, uh, so dip and rip below there, but this is an ascending line. So this is right at it and I'll make myself small here in just a second. And then a, a, a little dip below it. You can see that this is a horizontal. I will make a horizontal right here so you can check this out. And then you have a black triangle. And let me make myself small. And this is what's getting ready to happen. And again. So all you do is combine the first couple things that I showed you. And that's it. That's literally all you have to do to get Bitcoin price right. And, you know, from the daily updates, it would be wise to take a look at the, uh, <laughs> the Dixie chart and all that. But I'm not going to do that because I just gave you the instructions on how to do it. Um, but uh, and so once it falls out of here, this orange line, it's going to have these resistances here and here. So this line here will probably get a failure rejection pattern type of deal. This line right here, if price goes under the orange line. But really, the trend is it bounces here. So technically, I think it's more likely to kind of want to come up and then fail later. All right. So I think it could uh, easily take out one high, two local highs, something like this. I think that could happen especially since we're getting ready to have a weekly candle open something I, they like the big bad days the algos could drive price over today and maybe early tomorrow before markets open and they might drive it up first to run it into shorts and then so they can have nice uh, higher up shorts the big bad days i think so and that's how i think they would do it if uh it's going to do a fake out then down so I would look for one, two uh, local highs on the, let's just call it the one hour. Yeah, let's go to the one hour chart. On the one hour chart, two local highs. If you see that taken out, I'm telling you, it's it's got a pretty good chance of being a fake out. So if you see this come up here, all right, and it takes this out, I would be looking for a nice pullback down here and then really be interested. So it's gonna be this next time is gonna be super interesting, especially if this next move up only goes halfway up and gets uh, gets rejected by the middle of this, the point of control. So it hasn't so it hasn't been rejected by. So I think it could come up to the point of control, then come down, then spill over. So Sunday, I, I mean, honestly, I think this might bounce. And then the information that I'm giving my uh, my uh, discord, I'm not going to repeat it here. You saw it. You can rewind, do the work. I told you how I'm, I'm playing this. But I'm not going to sit here and explain it. Um, and so but I, that's the stuff that I'm doing on discord, right? even though I technically already gave you the content. And that's all that's happening. It's literally this box, these three lines, and this shit down here. And that's all you have to look at right now. Even though this triangle just got all types of screwed up. Something like this. That's literally all you need to stare at. Now, a lot of people and TA people are going to be focusing on this um, area over here. And so this area over here could get all the price action correct, even though my TA here is ignoring it. But so here's one. It's not an Achilles heel. I'm just I don't think it's going to interact just with this because this. Um, well, actually, unless it takes its time. So if it takes its time and goes down, it takes until March to just go down a couple like one and a half thousand bucks, which it probably won't. But if it took till March, yeah, that would be the horizontal from this and everything would be perfect. 
But I don't think it's going to take that long. So if it falls out of here, you know, maybe comes up first, falls out. I think it'll be a fast one and it'll go right past here. So I, I am anticipating if the if it breaks down and out of here before February 11th or 10th or 11th or 12th, like 10th through 12th of this month, if it breaks down the 10th, uh, 10th through 12th or before, right? Today's the 5th then uh, it's going to ignore this. I'm, I wanna give you a heads up and a lot of TA folks are gonna be staring at this, but that won't be what you actually wanna look at. <laughs> it won't give you the right signal. It will be this uh, origin line. I'm telling you, the, even though the bots, uh, the big tr traditional finance algos aren't, they don't have the same line, but mathematically this line does something and it always, it almost always works. Like it's just, it's you. it would be silly not to count on this working to a, a reasonably confident degree. Like in terms of having an edge. So if you're trying to pick, where is it gonna stop and pull back here, right? Because checking the previous little high here, that's that's pretty common. No, the origin line's too close. It will come hit this. And if it comes down, it'll probably go want to dip and rip below this. So it's probably gonna dip below here, come back in the triangle, get on top and then try it again, a 45 degree angle to here and then a question mark. I don't think it'll just give all this up. So because this, so here, that was actually a really important one I was about to say. So here's what you can expect. Um, it, it, you know, something reasonable over the next 45 days because the daily RSI is so hot. Let's say we do have a big ass pullback, okay? But if it happens the 10th through 12th or before, here's the consequence. It will ignore this. It will go for here. Then other bots, once it's down here, will say, well, shit, here's a wick here. Let's dip it and rip it so we can get more liquidity and enter more longs. That's what's going to happen. So the big algos will all be racing towards this guy below here. And then other algos will be stimulated or massaged. It's like, da -da, like the on button. Da -da. Hey, we have a situation where we have an obvious bounce point, an obvious horizontal, lots of longs piling up, lots of liquidity to take longs for us from their liquidations and stops, right? Or just people shorting here. A lot of liquidity opens up here. Because because if people are longing, their liquidations and uh, their liquidations and stops are shorts. So a short is the opposite direction. That is an order. The stops and liquidations are orders. It is liquidity for people who want to long down here. People who want to long down here needs the opposite direction trade uh, orders there. So if people are trying to long because of this and this line or, or even here, then they're going to rip it down to get all their liquidations because it is how they, the big bad days will long. It's probably going to dip and rip. That's what I think is going to happen. Does it have to? No, because this is a bullish move. Like this is how, like this is it. So if it weren't for the Achilles heel that we went over yesterday, if you haven't watched my yesterday's video, you have to. Like it's a must for general macro direction. I'm telling you, it is a long-term, uh, it is a long-term analysis based off something that's happening now. And it all comes to the crux of a, an Achilles heel of Bitcoin price action on this run. You, you have to watch that. From Saturday, yesterday, February 4th. All right. Um, all right. So, gosh, darn, I, there was, uh, what was I going to say? Um, here, let me go to the bottom right. Oh, I lost my train of thought. But... So it's not necessarily going to be this horizontal here. I don't anticipate this turning into a horizontal channel. It is possible. So that's another thing that my uh, my TA has a blind spot for right now. So if this begins happening, I will say, hey, oops, I won't start clicking buttons like that. Uh, but I will say to myself, hey, you know what? What I thought was happening, right? A repeat of this, but bigger. So in ascending channel, which is usually how, uh, often how it works. Um, it usually does not convert into a horizontal channel in which this becomes the top of the horizontal and this becomes the bottom of the uh, of the horizontal. That I mean, but that is how it technically happens. You get a channel up and a channel down, a channel up and a channel down. But so that could happen because Bitcoin is so bullish. So if if okay, so this is what I wanted to say. Um, so that Achilles heel mixed with it looks like the beginning of a bull run on the daily chart, but the weekly is the key and it says it can't be. It is impossible. Like it's what the weekly says. Could the daily prove wrong? Maybe, but the weekly is saying you cannot have a bull run off of this. It is, it literally is saying it's impossible, but that's only one time frame. 
It's a big one though, right? So because things are so powerful, and this looks like a bull run type of beginning of a bull run move, even though yesterday's video showed why it's not, but um, things could happen uh, that are, that uh, essentially invalidate my typical TA, what I'm doing now, right? I'm looking for a 45 degree low, you know, maybe it, it, maybe it does just form a horizontal, right, instead, because it's so bullish. And I might be overly bullish for this bullet, or I might be overly bearish just for like the one hour chart, looking for a bullish pullback to here. So that that my um, thought. So I want to show you how I could be wrong. What other YouTuber does this? I'm showing you if I'm wrong. Here's how. Here's what it'll do and why, and what I what I did not value enough. Because what I, in my analysis, I'm trying to figure out what's in play, what's the most probable. But price has a lot of separation, so my chance of being wrong is a lot higher. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you like my two or three best guesses, which I've kind of already done from the daily update that I showed you. Um, and, uh, but I need to show you all the other things that could happen because shit is bullish. This, like this pullback, what I'm saying, the most probable thing in my mind, I, I, I automatically don't have as much of a edge uh, of being right it's because price is so volatile and separated from right now it's got more space it's a bigger playground instead of two swings and a merry-go-round and a, a like a two basketball uh goals or something for a playground i mean you have like a big playground i mean downtown chicago playground type of stuff whatever that like millennium park playground huge gigantic right we have a huge gigantic kids playground here so my chance of being incorrect is, is increased. So I'm trying to show you all the ways that I could be wrong here because it it might be more probable that I'm wrong, honestly, because the playground is so big. Um, so channel up, channel down. Channel up forms a horizontal. That could happen. Another thing that could happen is it is simply a dip and rip out of this channel. I was wrong. It comes right back in here, but you're going to see if I'm wrong because what if it goes down and comes back below and sticks the landing here, let's zoom in. If it comes back, if it goes below, let's say it does a um, one, two, three. If you see something like that happening, that means it's gonna form a horizontal probably. And I'll know that if it leaves this channel, what would be a dip and rip? It's not really a dip and rip. It's just that it's not, it wasn't supposed to be that type of channel. It was supposed to be this type of channel, or just a horizontal one. Does that make sense? So I'm anticipating I'm wrong in this way, like exactly like that. I don't think it's more probable than what I stated because Bitcoin needs a freaking pullback. But the daily RSI might not agree with me because <laughs> it is in its own world right now like the daily chart is boss right like it is it is boss for now but that daily that weekly achilles heel will uh make it succumb late sometime but who knows bitcoin could hit uh 33 38 40 40k first over time uh so that's everything i'm looking for be defensive have a plan no window so check this out behind me here here is what uh, we've been doing in the community. Just basic, like even the YouTube tier, Scriptorian YouTube tier got, gets these, all that stuff, right? So uh, take a look. So this was before the downside move. This was from, I don't know, when the Euro was still at 109. So I guess we could actually see it right here. So it was over, somewhere over here on, yeah, the February 2nd, all right? And So I let them know I'm on lower height watch, not lower height alert. I was, and so you can see actually what I, you just read that. I let them know my game plan and I put one, two, three, four, right? So the chronological order of the thought process flow, how to connect all those dots. And then I summarize it on the right hand side. Next one, nothing really happened, but I let them know the key is Bitcoin dominance is the chart to watch and it worked freaking perfectly. I'm getting good at picking the chart of truth and you're not going to get this stuff if you're not in the community. Like that chart of truth was banging. All right. 
And then here is from the other day. So I actually share, my, I made my, uh, I moved money out of my KuCoin and made it public. As, yeah, so I could show everybody what I'm doing. So you can see actually what I'm doing, like for real. I'm showing you literally how I'm doing this. My account was 14,000 um, at the beginning of last week and that was a $1,400 a week. Spot trading. That's a big percentage increase. Like that, that's a good week for spot, like for anything actually. I had a good week, very good week. Because finally I started taking positions. Um, all right, and so now I will just walk everybody through what to look at, this and that, here we go. And here's from today. You've already seen this trading challenge that we're doing. I'm already getting a head start on everybody. I got five in a row and you can see here that it's all not butter, you know, rainbows and butterflies. The goal is I need 10 in a row. So that's going to try to get me to hit singles instead of looking for home runs. And that's our trading challenge for the week. So you can see exactly like literally you can see all my bad trades my, it's like here. Look, I had my stop really loose and I was wrong. That's the only one where my stop was loose and I was wrong. Normal stop wrong, normal stop wrong, but a larger position for this account. This is a small account. Like I'm trading with like $300 or I was. I've, I've risen it up and I added a little bit more money as you saw there, right? Um, but uh, these are all my trades. And so we're having a trading challenge, trying to get 10 in a row if you wanna be a part of that. I think only the VIPs will be able to post their results in the um, in this section over here on Discord. Post results here, live trading, trading challenge. Um, but uh, if you wanna do that, that's for VIPs and you can show off and. Uh, or just, you know, show that you couldn't do it because it's hard. It's hard to hit 10 in a row. Even if it's $1 each, like, it's tough to do. Uh, and that's what we got going on in the community. And on top of, you know, we do about 10, uh, 10 live interactions a week where we can put up, share screens. You can share your screen with me, ask ask me questions. I tried to, a lot. A common question I'm getting a lot, a lot now is, uh, hey, here, you share my screen. Hey, here are my origin lines. Why aren't they working? Like, are they the same as yours? Or, and then we sit there and compare them. Like, I'm looking at that person's screen and he's, he or she's asking questions over the uh, over the microphone. And uh, that's that's kind of what we do. Or a lot of, the most common question right now is people are in trades. Uh, they're already in a trade because they have their entry system pretty good, but it's they have me take a look at their stop plan and their profit taking plan and just get a second pair of eyes on it um, as they're in a trade. So uh, now one thing I haven't been getting a lot is uh, is I'm in a big loss. I didn't set stops. What do I do? I used to get those questions a lot and I'm actually proud to say uh, I don't get those a lot. Um, uh, people are, uh, uh, my community is, uh, I guess we don't have, we don't get a lot of those questions uh, anymore, which means the people who are still sticking around, they made it and they're, they're uh, trading, um, I guess, with a strong, uh, an acceptable level of risk management. And I feel very good to be able to say that. So uh, check out the community and you can always sign up as a free member um, and just get some of the alerts that I post to there uh, in the announcement section. And we'll see you next time. Happy Sunday.